We're now standing on top of the bastion or the roof of Fort Knox and from here we can get a view of the northern approach which is off in this direction here to see where or to show how the uh, area could be seen and observed for enemy encroachment by shipping from that direction. Southern approach coming up the narrows between the town of Prospect and the town of Verona giving you an indication of how it could be observed for enemy shipping coming from this direction. The view that you're looking at right now is of Battery A. This battery was originally equipped with 32 guns, 30 10 inch Rodmans, and two 15 inch Rodmans. There's only one survivor left. That's the 15 inch gun way down in the corner behind the powder magazine. We're now taking a look at the interior of the fort while standing on the roof. This is a view of the opposite side of the courtyard showing the casemates, the sally port or the entrance, as well as the two towers in each corner which access the roof from which we are standing. In the end of casemates of the fort, this area is rather unique because it would normally have had two 10-inch guns in place here. When the guns were fired and recoiled into the side of the casemate, they would draw in a certain amount of smoke along with them. Now, in order to fire again, you want to clear as much smoke out of the area as possible, but this does not have any air access that the other casemates they would have. Whatever air comes in here comes in through this opening, but what they did is provide two extra chimneys in the ceiling to prevent the smoke. It also gives you an idea as to how thick the brickwork is on the roof of the casemate. We're now standing on the second level of the officer's quarters. This is the interior of one of the rooms, and if we can look through these protective barriers, You'll see that it's a rather large room. On this wall over here are two fireplaces. The wall on this side, you notice, is braced off and it hasn't been completed. Uh, this is where the officers would have stayed. Now, they would have had the luxury of having two fireplaces to keep the area warm during the winter. But in reality, nobody ever lived in here. Where we're standing now is inside the counter scarf gallery. This is a rifle gallery that would have been manned by infantry to protect the back wall of the fort. This goes down through a long tunnel in two-step increments, commonly known as two-step alley. It goes around the inside perimeter of the main body of the fort. What we're doing here is we're looking out through an opening in the wall called the loophole where infantry would have stood. And what we're doing is we're looking at the roof of what's called the counter scarf gallery, which is on the opposite side of the ditch or dry moat that's between the two buildings. We're now standing on the opposite side of the ditch or the dry moat. And you'll notice this area here goes all the way around the main body of the fort. We were just standing over on the other side there a little bit in the, in the scarp gallery. And we're going to enter the counter scarp gallery which is down underneath us right here. Okay, this is the entrance to the stairway that leads down to battery A. And we're going to be going down to the lower level 
to examine the large 15 inch Rodman gun that's in that particular battery. Okay, we're now standing inside the demi bastion which overlooks battery A. In this particular position, there would have been three 24 pound flank defense housers that would have been pointed down the length of the battery. Their purpose would be to protect this particular battery against any infantry intrusion. We are now standing inside of the demi bastion, which covers battery B. This is one of the wooden carriages on which 24 pound flank defense howitzer would have been mounted. We have two of the originals down here, although they're in kind of rough shape. Uh, they show us how the gun would be moved back and forth on top of this thing and out through the embrasure here. And we can also see the area of battery B out through the embrasure. We're looking down the length.